All right then, good morning. And uh, today is my happy convention day. Yeah, I got a little bit, it's a little bit early up here. But uh, I'm, I'm usually up at night. I usually, my, my uh, day starts around when I'm off in the off season. <laughs> around one o'clock or midnight, two o'clock maybe. Then I'm up till about four or five. And then I'm back in bed. So I got, I got a real bad uh, sleep pattern when I'm off work. But all right, we have a great time. We get up in the middle of the night. We're up here learning games, playing games. Uh, the convention has started. Uh, and I think I was just on Discord and I was looking for a player for a game. But it was a science fiction game. And I just got up. And, uh, I'm signed up. I don't think I got anything going on until later. But we will be looking on and seeing what's going on. Keeping an eye on the event schedule. But my first event don't start till. Later on this afternoon or this evening. Right now, though, we are waking up to some Lanzarath. And I've been playing this, and I wanted to put a stop on it because uh, we got some new mechanics coming on in. Uh, we are on Attacker Wave 3, and we got our first objective going on here. And I guess what's going on are these medics, or disguised as medics, and are coming up here to the front lines with these troops. But uh, unbeknownst, or beknownst to the uh, allies, is that one of them is a uh, spotter for the mortar. So I just got me a mortar card, and I was required to uh, place the medics. Now what they're going to do is they're firing at a, we had done rolled and everything, they're firing at a area 5. But instead of rolling one six-sided dice because they got a spotter, the first round is going to place, and then he's going to call in another round. <laughs> so uh, we rolled two six-sided dice, and we get two chances for a six. So they're they're getting zeroed in on, and they, we picked a good a good area because that's got a lot of valuable. <laughs> that's a big part of our plan. So we'll see how they uh, weather on through the mortar attack with the spotter. Now the thing of it is, we get a chance to nail on this spotter, but uh, we got to wait for our our phase. This is our last draw. Two of this. Opening, uh, yeah, there ain't no, I don't see any discarded cards. This is my opening salvos of the third wave. All right, so let us roll now. We're going to roll some six-sided dice. He gets two rolls. First one, we're looking a six or, le or six or more, so I don't think he can get hit. But uh, I don't think there's any modifiers. Let me see, we'll be right back. All right, well, I was wrong. After looking at that again, I was like, well, how could he not get hit? So the game definitely... Gives him a chance, but he's got a one out of six chance. So anything but a six for our old slap. All right, well, slap takes it. Survives the first. Oh, we forgot to do what we were supposed to, supposed to do. Spotter round. Oh, no way. Spotter. What a spotter. Oh, you're kidding me. So slap gets hammered. All right, that's what happens when you got the old spotter die. Ain't looking good. Three or more. Yep, he got hit too. Wow, that is not good. All right, these guys. <laughs> and now you look at it, they do have some weak numbers there, so it's not cool. I think everybody's gonna be a one and a one. Oh, Gacky must have found himself a ditch or something. He got down in there, so old Gacky survives. That's good. All right. Adams. Oh, Adams. Yeah, I was going to say, man, with two die. Whew. All right. So there's a result of R. And I've been using these markers to mark things on here, so that kind of comes in handy. They're, what they are is, uh, ooh, I think they might be markers in place of these markers. If you don't like those. Or if, or if you can lose these things. But here you go. You can put these on top of them, too. But we'll, we'll keep that around like that. All right, so remove our marker, and that is the end of that attack. Wow. All right, we'll put these back, and when we come back, it'll be my turn for my five actiones. All right, back after a mortar attack. All the dice are in place. <laughs> what, was, what was that movie? What the heck was that? Sleeping with the Enemy, where that guy had that anal habit. It was her evil husband of putting the... <laughs> I don't know what you call that, but yeah, we got everything all set up here. And I think it's fun. I got everything all ready to go. We got this table here. We're on our massive project. I'm getting ready to start playing Empire of the Sun. It's not that hard to get to started. Watch a couple of videos. Mark Herman doesn't make it, you know, it isn't rocket science. So 
Yeah, we were excited. It looks like some good game mechanics. Uh, as far as Central America goes, I, I think I'm going to get a hold of that buddy of mine that was playing the game. We'll give him another chance because a good opponent's hard to come by on that Central America game. But, uh, man, it'll be, you know what? I need more tables. I need more tables. Oh, man, where can I put another table? Uh, I'm getting greedy. I got to watch it. There's too much stuff going on here. But like I said, we got games galore coming on up. Oh, what else did I want to do? I had something else. Oh, we were on... Compass Games Town Hall last night, and uh, I put a couple plugs in for a revamp of old. Me and somebody else, somebody else said he'd enjoyed Central America. Unbeknownst to me, I made a comment about uh, you know Central America can do a redo, could use a redo, because the counters are so dated. You know how small those suckers are and everything, and it'd probably be nice to get a revamped one of that. I don't know who owns the rights to Victory Games. They, did, they didn't answer my question, but a couple of us did say something about Central America. A little redo on that one. But uh, that's what's going on there. We are going to assign. We got to get rid of these, uh, I, I guess, that medic. Whew. Damn. <laughs> we find out how we do that. We'll be right back. All right. Well, we only got five actions, but it don't seem too hard. It says uh, it's an action that a defender can take that doesn't uh, exhaust them. It's a minor action. And you just uh, flip the counter over and reveal its side, so... Oh, do we want to get these old boys all? Oh, I got a bunch of them there. Oh, I got an assist. So you can assist one, but I think that's a major accident. Well, I think we'll definitely have to assist. Oh, slope. So let me see here. Defense phase, minor actions, major actions. Uh, assist, flipping, flip over an exhausted defender in the same combat position to its unexhausted side. May not perform on defenders with a command designator or inspire. Oh, may not be performed on defenders with a command designator. Aren't oh, like you can't assist him? Well, what the heck? Wait, no, 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 no. Yeah, I think that is a command. So he can't be. Oh, what would I do that for then? Should have known the rule. I think he means that this command. So he's, well, he's not exhausted yet. Okay, I'm getting them mixed up. I'm pretty sure slap himself can recover so let me look that up maybe that's what I want to do an assist uh, action I'm getting that mixed up well that is you can uh, you can do what I wanted to do but I'm mistaking that for uh, saying that old slap would be exhausted he can flip him over now what I just read though is he can't flip him over but he's not exhausted so we're alright I think the person themselves Adam slap and Bouch take off those markers so we'll see here real quick oh, minor action Oh, what are we doing here? Recover when a defender is disrupted or disrupted and exhausted. The only action a defender can take is recover. Now that is a does not exhaust a minor action. So there you go. Everybody can take themselves, can recover themselves, pick themselves up, brush themselves off, and uh, get back in it. The only thing is, that would take up almost all my actions. Unless, yeah, let's do that. We got one left over for a shot at a medic. Or find out which one it is. Yeah, hopefully those mortars. It might be a mortar attack. I mean, those mortars might be raining and free, so maybe that's the first thing we need to do. Is uh, yeah, we'll get these guys on, undone here. So each one of them will go one, two, three. We will put their actions on there. One, two. Oh, three. Was it Adams or was it Geki? I can't remember. <laughs> I'm so glad, man. I'll look at it. I'll look it up here. All right, and that is that one. It was three. Uh, this one here will be four. So we got one left in a pock shot. I'll be right back. All right, yep, yeah, we got them all right. All right, for our one last action then. Ooh. Somebody's going to have to have a line of sight on them. So Gacky. We'll let Gacky do it. He's in there. He got hit. He looks like he might be the closest just for shits and grins. But uh, Gak, you'll go here and we'll reveal this medic. It is a medic counter and we'll take it out. So he wasn't the... He was not the observer. Well, that'll take care of my five actions. One, two, three, four, and five. And, uh, you know, you're used to down there in a so-called complex Mark Harmon game. I think it's more going to be like a twilight struggle or really knowing what your cards 
I mean, I mean, in Twilight Struggle, you got to be a professional person on knowing how those cards work. Uh, hold on a second for a clear throat break. But uh, and I play that game online, Twilight Struggle. I might get lucky one out of five games and win one. <laughs> it's a tough game. And there was a Twilight Struggle tournament. I think I, I was thinking about uh, entering, but man, I would have been cannon fodder on that thing because, like I said. That is a game where you really need to... It's all about those cards. You need to know those cards front, backwards, and everything like that. And I have a feeling that uh, type of deal is what you need to do here on this upcoming Empire of the Sun game. And now that I'm paying, playing Empire of the Sun, I'm dying to get Pacific War. So now i got to get Pacific War. Uh, here we go. We're being... We're being... Uh, what is that? Sleeping with the enemy again. <laughs> oh, oh, I got my magic little tweezers here. Yeah, all right. Or I'll set up. Are all set up with our stacks. Oops, let me on. Got it in place there, boy. All right, that is it. We have survived. We have moved on. This card is still here. You remove it when. Uh, so I'll put a little dealy on them. We're ready for three more cards. Be right back. All right. As I was saying before, I lost my train of thought. I got so many things going through my head. Is uh, it's nice to take a break from these kind of what they say intense games. And a little plug for DVG. And a nice just sit down and enjoy yourself. It's still strategies. Everything's still, you gotta, you know, you still, you still gotta work your brain. And it, it's fun. This is a fun game. This, I like these games. A little big plug for uh, David Thompson and Nels Johansson. Having a great time with your game, guys. You did a, hit it out of the park with this one. Especially with this map. Everybody loves the map. All right, first card. Flipping over and it's an assault. Roll in place, so we got ourselves a boy with a one of those. What do they call those type of grenades? Where you throw those suckers. Everybody's got their different version of a grenade, that's for sure. I, I think uh, the Allies had a better version because of this one. You had to get a bunch of wood to connect it. Heck with that. Just pull the pin and yeah, let the grenade do its work. This time. Well, you might be able to throw this one better, I guess. I, mean, I don't know. All right, roll in place. So there we go. We need us a six sided die. Oh, no way. <laughs> uh, four. So let me get this here. He will go on the four. He'll be attacking four. All right. So there's a there's that uh, cross. We got the old split there on the area. So you just got to make sure when you go forward, you make a right. So we're going up here. One. Two. And we will add one. Ain't much to that. We gotta die, we gotta recover. I'll be right back. Next card play, another assault. Place on six. We grab us a leader. Counter. We need assault in six. Alright, there we go. Move them on up there, boys. Get into the action. And aren't we all glad we don't live in Russia? <laughs> oh, God. Getting drafted, putting in the human wave attacks. Oh, my God, my God, my God. All right, here we go. Next one. Another leader. Oh, I think I'm getting talked to on my Discord. I'm hearing a little beep. And we're, I'm on a convention, so I'm live on a convention. And they might be saying something. I'm going to get over there. Uh, another leader. And this one here is placed on one at area five. So that's the same one. We're just making a left. So he'll pull on up. Well, we got a leader. Here we go. I was going to say, he's going to pull on up, but he'll stop there at the barbed wire because they're it's going to bog him down, but when it hits the barbed wire, your leader's got himself a pair of snips on him. So he'll pass those on up. They'll go on up here. He'll move that all the way. He'll go up, he'll go up, and he will be placed. Two leaders in this little spot. So we might get something going on there. We will place our barbed wire marker and a use, and that'll be it for that wave. Nothing much happening there. So, so far, these waves are pretty... pretty I don't know if I'd say what was the right word I'm looking for. Uh, not lame. Uh, ineffective. Well, really not that potent. It might be why they have the uh, optional tactics card. So we'll see what's going on. So far, so far, so good. Oh, what else we got going on here? So now we got our five. And we're going to definitely... Oh, we didn't get no mortar card that time. All right. Well, uh, We'll get while getting's good. Old uh, Gacky this time. Oh no 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 no. Let's see. We'll take. Uh, yeah, we'll take old Jenkins. 
We'll give him a line of sight to this one right here. Jenkins, get those binoculars on. Tell me what you see. And he sees a guy that is a medic taking care of wounded. He ain't your boy. All right. Next one, we only got one medic left, so he's got to be it. We will go over here to, uh, oh, who do we want it to do? I'll go over here to old Gacky. I cannot Gacky. <laughs> Where do I get this from? Kalil. Kalil. Uh, and he will spot the medic. And of course, it is the forward observer. All right, now he's gonna have to roll a die, I believe. Oh. Move by normal attack or just fire action. This guy's for, okay, normal attack, so. He's rolling a D8. Oh no, yeah, D8. And uh, gotta be the four. He's in four area. So D8, put the D6 back. We got us an eight. And uh, gotta be the four to get rid of this observer. Don't do it. Oh, that hurts. Um, what did I do? I just fired. Wait, hold on. He spotted him. So he can't do nothing else. Oh, I got machine gunners there. Why did I put machine gunners there? Well, they're both D8s, so let me move. I got to add a marker. We'll give it to All right, he took a shot and missed. Uh, let's take another one. We gotta get rid of that guy. Uh... Redman's got a star. We'll go up to old James. Rolling a D8. This time, though, you'll have to get a 5 and above. We got him. All right. Forward observer. Oops. All right, sorry about that. Phone call. Forward observer eliminated. There you go. Oh, forgot my place. Be right back. All right, then, old position one, we got rid of the observer. Now we can take this card here and we can get rid of that. Where we put that at? We'll just put it underneath here. And we got our next objective for our next wave coming on up. We took care of that one. We have one more uh, action left. Who's getting close? Who's getting close? Well, I'd like to use a machine gun, but we ain't got nobody, no uh, ammo loaded. Yeah, these ones are out. They done spent. M1919 is available but it's melted so no more, no more machine gun actions by me so I cannot have no more adjust fire defender actions <laughs> let's do uh oh do I need to get these guys yeah I do need to get these guys out of here let's do that before we definitely get screwed on that one Bullock's gonna move It'll be a minor action. He'll move into here. This is what we need to take care of next. Let's get these boys on in there. So there you go. That'll be my five. One, two, three, four, and five. Oh, you know what? I do have an M1919, but was that the one that's melted? Yeah, so it's it's there. It's unlimbered. I don't know if it'll make a difference. That is that. Moving on to three more cards. Be right back. Right back with Land Your Wrath. First card. Roll in place, D6. Get rid of our D8 here. D6. <laughs> Penny. Four. So we're going to place a rifleman. Going for area four. That's the split in the road spot. And they don't have a leader, so here you go. He'll be stacked up here. One, two, three. And he's going for area four. Now, he, these guys are all going to be bogged up here and all stacked up on the spot if they don't get a leader in there. Uh, die recovery time. Be right back. This card reveal. MG42. Ouch. All right. Place or activate an area A. Ooh, and that's a different area A, isn't it? Ooh, it's this one. He has never been placed, or he has been, but... All right, they'll take care of that card. Luckily, he didn't squeeze off no rounds, but there you go. MG42. Another MG42. Place or activate area C. So they're bringing up these MG42s again. That is not good. We have no machine guns to fire back. This could be the <laughs> harbinger of the end of the, end of the game. If they start squeezing off. Alright, we survived that one. No mortars. Oh, 
but we took away the observer, so that's fine. Now for our response. Got to get rid of these MGs. I don't know if we can do that with a regular, with a regular die. I guess we go with a high number seven, with a D8. Ooh man, he Gacky can't even shoot him. He has no chance. Well, that's a bummer. All right, we're gonna have to get somebody over here to these. Uh, oh yeah, get these areas taken care of here. So I think I'll. Uh, oh, we'll move some boys on over. Star, command, radios and everything are damaged. Let's get him over there anyway. Springer, well, Fort, we'll move him over there. You don't want to make one, one call and it's got to be a D6. I don't know how good that's going to work out. Springer, we'll relocate him. Put him over there, flip him over to exhausted. I'm pretty sure that is a major action. Not exhaust. Oh, assist. Reposition. Move a defender to any other combat position on the board. A defender must can take one dismounted weapon. Yeah, he can't eat a machine gunner anyway, is he? Just a radio operator. We ain't got no machine guns anyway, so he's there okay. Next will be. We gotta get somebody over here. Old Fletcher. We'll move from the cabin. This area two. Takes good care of him. Alright, now should we start firing? Or should we get some reinforcements in these areas? Let's squeeze off some shots, but we want to do it with a with somebody that can give us an extra dive, can inspire us. So oh we're gonna have Jenkins. Fire at MG 42B. He'll get an inspiration from old Dustman, and he's in the same squad of them. So he can roll two dice. Check this out. We're right back. All right, then. I think that's what we're going to do. Oh, which machine gunner do we want to shoot at? All right, so. Oh. Ah, they're both D8s. Don't make no difference. Well, Jenkins gonna squeeze off a round. He can roll a D8. Dustin's gonna inspire him. That does not uh, cause any action. So we got two eight, two D8s. We're going to fire at this MG42, and but he is. We need a seven or higher. Yeah, on a D8, and uh, we we want to make another shot after this. It's gonna be a eight or higher. So seven or higher. No good, no good. All right. Oh. What do we want to do here? Krager. Got to try. Well, man, that'll be a, he's got to get two eights. All right, give me, it needs an eight. Oh, wah, wah. Be right back. We're going to go ahead and fart. So, old Krager. Gonna shoot his two D8s inspired by Dustman. And now we gotta get two eights. I mean we gotta get an eight. No good. Alright, well so much for that. One, two, three, four, and five. Alright. Going on with it. For three more cards. Get the old card stack. One, two, and three. Oh, oh that was <laughs> bad. Uh, I was watching old camping with Steve. I think that's what it's called. It's one of my favorite YouTube channels. And he was doing a, he does stealth camping where you try to camp somewhere without getting caught. Uh, whatever, but it's fun, it's fun to watch. But he was at a ferry crossing, gonna camp out there overnight. I don't know. If, I mean, it was just something to watch, but he, he was drinking a non-alcoholic beverage, a big old pina colada, and he took a sip, was going to go put it in its holder, and it fell, <laughs> spilled all over the place. Oh, uh, so it ain't just me. Everybody has those times. MG42, ouch. Place or activate C. C is already there. He will fire at our old boys again. 
All right. Oh, what does he do? Oh, I can't remember. Be right back. All right, MG42s are six siders. So we'll get these guys all lined up here. Grab us a six sider. It is, uh, what was that, battery C? Yep. All right, for each defender. Uh, going for a slap. Squeezing off some rounds. Six will do it. Two, slap is fine. All right, bouch. We don't want anything but a three or less. Oh, bouch gets hammered. It was a disrupted marker. We've seen this movie before. All right, Adams, three. Adam survives. All right, is it three or more? Three or oh, shit. Let me find out what it is. Result indicates roll six sided die compared to the result. Show position is occupied, roll that's a defender. Equal to or higher. All right, so I think he's good. Where are we at here? All right. Hold on one second. All right, the four Adams does not survive. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. All right, anything above his number. The last is Gacky. Ain't looking good for old Gacky. There's only a two, so two of us for him to survive, and he is disrupted. All right, here we go. That'll take care of that first card. That was a lethal card. Hopefully, uh, get stuff straightened up around here. Um... The next card draw, if it's an MG42 in that same spot, or anything, any MG42 that's going to target that area, we might be up a creek. Oh, ouch. Place and activate B. We'll be taken care of. Yes. All right. What area does he fire on? Oh, counter that is occupied, activate without attacking defenders. Six out of nine, fair result to MC42. The result of the defender counters and is attacked. All right, we'll find out here. Uh, from B area, anything but a five, three. All right, so the area to be attacked will be the old one with our commander. We're on a six sided die, six or less. So if he gets a six, he gets him. Oh, I kind of just sat on the rim there for a second. Three, so he's good. All right, that'll take care of that card. Next card's Assault. Roll or Place. Roll and Place. Oh, four, six. Oh, Assault. Rifleman. Go for our six spot. Where is that at? Right here. All right. Path is getting already. Are these guys bunched up? Nope, there ain't no barbed bar there, so you can go forward. Forward. Leaders are on this one. Here, getting close, but we survived that little wave of attacks. Mostly a 42 MG 42 round. I mean, did some damage. Put this over here with our five. We will go one, two, three. Don't want no casualties to get that morale marker down. One. Oh, sorry about that. Two, three. And what will we do with our last two? Oh, be right back. All right, that old route coming on up to area six is getting kind of packed. So old Preston's going to roll himself a D8 and try to beat a three. D8 time. He's going to beat a three. Oh, doesn't do it. Doesn't do it. Man. All right, now we got to beat a four. And we got one more left, so it's, we ain't wasting no time. We're going old slap. All right, he can roll two D6s and trying to beat a four. Two D6s. Did it. All right, he is gone. That'll take care of my uh, oh, phase. Let me draw more cards. One, two, three. Four, five. Not looking too bad. Still got a bunch of cards left. Ain't got no. We haven't had any chance for artillery or anything because we're too busy on the front line here. But that might be what's up left next if we can survive. Uh, it is going to be a breakfast base. 
breakfast break for me. I'm going to make me some pancakes, sausage, and eggs. <laughs> uh, we'll be back. All right, ready to carry on. And uh, I was on the Discord looking around because we got the convention going on now. and Games are going. Like I said, I think they're looking for uh, a player for a, that science fiction game. I guess it's kind of like an X-Wing game or something like that. But I got to, I, I'm not available right now. Although I thought about when I get done with this game here. Maybe type it in and letting it be known. Instead of somebody's looking for, needs an extra guy, I'm available because I'm sitting around all day. This is the beginning of my convention weekend. And I have not got nothing to do but play games. So let's get on with it. First one, a mortar. Oh, no. Oh, the mortar guy's gone. So that takes care of that. We ain't got to worry about that. But damage and uh, disruption. Now, what's it say? What's that two mean? So let me go over here real quick. Be right back. All right, area two. Now, you can't do any more damage to the vehicle, but we can roll for fort. And, uh, what's it say? Compared to the defender's rating, if the result is equal to or higher. So, three or more. The whole fort gets hammered. With a six-sided die. Oh, roll one six-sided die. It's a four. So, fort. Uh, one six-sided dies. Equal to or higher. Yep, he takes a disrupted mortar marker from the mortar all right there you go so all right next card mg42 please or activate area a throw old boy all the way on the left flank up oh, wrong one it's a square a not a hexagon hexagonal a so oh there's nobody there, so we will place him. That gets that gets us out of that one a little bit. All right, well, they're all loaded for bear and ready to go here on this front line. All right, here we got an assault, so we'll be moving up over here, rolling place on a six-sided die. And in area one is a assault trooper. Area one. All right, let me see here. Area one, that's the old boys up here. They're gonna be bald. I don't see nothing. There's a leader there. A leader is amongst them, so up goes the wire cutters. That is done. Up, 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 and up. One thing I want to check out though, is that we haven't been using it in this game at all. Are these numbers on these? So what is up with that? Huh. All right, I'm gonna go check that out real quick, see if I can find it out, because are we supposed to add this number to the area value? Maybe I've been doing it wrong the whole game. I'll be right back. All right, well, I was hoping that I was doing it wrong, but I think I'm doing it right. On this here example, it says Slap has a second combat value. He rolls two dice, so he rolled two six-sided dice. Uh, the result is two and three. Three is equal to the defense value for the space. The rifleman is in, so the rifleman uh is removed from the board and placed back. Yeah, don't say nothing about those those numbers there. I thought maybe on close combat it might have been. A defender can take a close combat action and moves an assault counter from the same combat position as the defender. I guess that's when they get into your position. No attack roll is needed. Assault counter once they have reached the combat position. Exactly. Well where do these numbers come in at then? I haven't yet to use those numbers in it at all. Oh, let me see. Declare the defender will take the action and the attack counter that will be the target of the attack. Roll the defender's combat value dice and compare the result to the defense value of the space the assault counter is in. Don't say nothing about his value, just about the space. That's what we've been doing. Huh. When a multiple attack counters are attacked, so maybe it comes in later. I have no idea, but we have yet to use that number. And right here, it tells you this combat value. So I'm going to look around here and see if I can find this uh, combat value word anywhere. We'll be right back. Found it. <laughs> and I guess the reason I have never used it is because no German units have really made it to the uh, defensive positions. But that's what they're for. If one or more assault counters move into a defender combat position, 
immediately resolve the attack. Add the combat value of all the assault counters. Do not include any assault counters already in a position. Huh. Defender combat position. Huh. How could you be in there anyway? I don't know. I, I have no idea. Then roll a number of six hundred dollars. Eat it. Oh, hold on. Here, here, here. Add the combat value of all assault counters. Do not include the assault counters already in a position. Okay. Then roll the number of six-sided die equal to the combat value. Roll the number. Oh, wow, really? That's what that is. So he's rolling three if he gets in there. I'm with you. I'm with you. All right. Well, that, we all found that out. I guess that's because uh, I've never gotten anybody up there. That's what those things mean. All right. So we've been playing the game right. Everything's good to go. We will continue. Oh, where were we? I think we're at the uh, placing the markers, but that's what that's all about. Good deal. All right. Well, this one, this old boy here is still stacked. So he was, I don't know how to signify that. That's there. We'll just keep him next to it. And we'll start stacking them on top of each other when they get there because they don't have no leader in that uh, road to cut the wire. All right. All right. We're having fun with this game. Uh, we will be right back. Let me make sure I got everything right. And uh, we'll be right back. All right, back with some Lands of Wrath on convention Friday the 13th. Woo! <laughs> Friday the 13th. All right, what we're going to do here? We got some boys coming on up, but they're down in that little hole. So they really can't be fired on. The only one that can be fired on is the ones behind them. Got some leeway. Ain't really worried about what I'm worried about is MG42s, but the uh, our big disadvantages are all, all our machine guns, heavy machine guns, are down. Either no ammo or melted. So we will, uh, we're going to take some shots here. Oh, old Jenkins. It's going to roll. There's D8. And go far. The MG42 need a, need a 7. But... Old Dustman's gonna slap him upside the head and say, Aim true, boy! <laughs> or some words to that effect, I guess. Uh, but yeah, going for a same area. We don't have to cross no white lines. Alright, so two D8s for Jenkins. And he needs a seven. Seven or more. Oh, bad faux pas. Did he get it? Two sixes. That hurts. All right, Jenkins is done. Wow. Um. Two d sixes. That's just it now. I guess Krager has got to try. Come on, Krager. He's got a d eight, and he needs now an eight. So two dice. Looking for the eights. Two and four. Are these the right die? Uh, tens, yeah, these are two eights. All right, two and four. Yeah, so no good for him either. Wow, out, out, out. Sorry, right, we made a little bit of a mess here. We'll be right back. All right, dice all loaded and ready to be fired. What we got going on here now, though? Let me look over the board. Let's see what I want to do. Be right back. All right, our main shot's going to be these MG42s again. We're going to a different area, and unfortunately, well, let me see. Huh. Uh, what we got going on here? Oh, uh, one. He can only shoot. I, I guess this boy here can only shoot here. Okay. So, uh, I'm thinking old Preston. Uh, with one D8. At least he can get a D8 that can maybe reach him. Or Hail Mary in it to here. But he can hit the, anybody in these six spots. Or anybody in these squares. Or anybody in these diamonds to where he can only shoot anybody right here. That's his pass. So if you want to hit anybody here, he's got to come from there. But old uh, Preston's going to throw his 1d8. And he can't get modified or anything. We're going to try to hit this one. we got to take a Hail Mary shot. We need to get rid of those big old machine guns. Back to the d8s. Need an 8. Need an 8. Ooh. Nowhere close. Huh? To be expected, actually. All right, we're going to try another one. But this time, we got to look for those D8 boys. Any chance to get that 7? There you go, that area. So, we're going to use old Milosevic. 
I guess that's his name, with a D8, little old Redmond's gonna smack him on the back of the head and say, you miss? <laughs> You're pulling double guard duty or something. There you go, looking for eight, or seven or eight. We got it. Yeah, it was our first shot, so we got it. There you go. All right, give him a, oh, that was Walter Vinci already shot. All right, we got one more left. No way to get another one here. Oh, Dustman's got a D8. Dustman. Oh, that'd be the third shot at him, though. If he can't get it, he only can get it. That'd be a seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's above his, his number. All right, let me look this over. One more action left. All right, for our final action, we're going to remove the marker from old fort. And, uh... We need to get him unexhausted. I didn't even see that. I want to call in some Artie, but I'm up a creek. My Artie strikes, though, instead of being effective on a roll of a five or six, since that radio's all smashed up. You can only get it on a six, but I can't do that with him exhausted. So that is it. That'll be one, two, three, four, and five. <laughs> all right. It's getting down to it. So far, so good, though. We have nobody that has been uh, KIA'd or eliminated. So, all right. More cards. Oh, we're getting down to it. Whoop. Grab your stock. Here we go. One, two, Three of my computers going off. They're playing a game over there at the convention room. They have got a, uh, I don't want to call it Starfighter, some kind of a space game, and he's streaming it. They will be streaming on YouTube, but hold on for a throat clearing break. Uh, as a member of the convention, you pay your entry fee, or your entry fee, I guess. You get a special link. So we will be. Uh, and I hope some, most of my games do that. That'd be great. I love YouTube. Got a good connection, big screen. Heck, I can even put it on my major big screen. <laughs> That'd be killer. Oh, I just got that idea. Put it on the big high definition. Uh, what is that? 4K or something? Yeah, I forgot what the hell it is. But yeah, we got a pretty good we got a pretty good TV. Or it was back in the day. <laughs> I don't know if they, they probably got 8K now. But um, uh, yeah, you got a certain link and you'll get in there and you're going to... Uh, watch some of these stuff on YouTube. Now, my first event, I think, is going to be at 3 o'clock today. And that is uh, uh, just a session on using Discord, Vast, and something else, some other kind of platform. So it's just going to be a seminar. And then it'll last, it's supposed to last a couple hours or so. From, anyway, from basically from 3 o'clock till 9 o'clock tonight, I think it should be busy. So we'll see what's up. What's going on with this game? I want our game in Friday the 13th. All right, place or activate a MG42. MG42 is without a spot. We just got him. Oh, man. Ouch. All right, there you go. Assault. It's a leader. A three. Now we know what these points are for. A three-point leader. All right, place on four. He wants to assault four, so here we go. All right, four hasn't got a, a unit here yet, so what are we going to do here? I got a leader here now. All right, well, let's just cut the flyer. He'll move up to four. He'll move up. He'll move up. He'll move up. And the leader will be placed. Let me make sure I did that right. Maybe I'll have to stack them all up there with the wire. Then the next turn. Let's do it that way. I'm going to check on this. You stack them up there. And I guess the next time they move out. I don't know. We'll find out real quick. Right back. We're going to take it off. It says a uh, leader is present on the track, so he's present. So we'll take that off. We'll move everybody up one. And I think that'll take care of most of the barbed wire. All right. That is it for the second card, third card. Roll in place. One through six. Hopefully it is not a four. Load up my dice roll. With the eights. We need one six. There we go. Five. Uh, that's a two. All right, going to area five. Ooh, we're getting there. We're getting there. 
He is down here. He's got a leader, so the barbed wire has already been cut. Oh, this could be it, boys and girls. They're getting close. We haven't had any really close combat yet. And thankfully, in this turn, it's the last card. So we get a chance to <laughs> mow the poor SOBs down before they get there. Let's uh, continue. Let's see what we can do. We'll be right back with five more Defender actions. All right, then. We got the old boys getting close, but they're going to find a little bit on the rough side when they hit the old booby traps. They're not worried about that one. This one can come right on in here, though. So we will... Uh, do we want to do that with them? I guess so. I don't see anybody that's exhausted yet. Uh, we got to get rid of that. Well, he's got an MG42 there, too. You can only roll a 2D6. So you can't hit the MG42. You need a 7 or less or more. Um... Oh, booby trap's gone here, and they're almost there. He's down there in the hole, though, so we can't fire at him. We can fire at his uh, compatriots following up behind him. Maybe we'll squeeze off some rounds there, and he's got a boost with his leader. Uh, old Khalil, front and center, boy. Get that gun going. He will roll a D8. He'll be slapped on the back of the head by Redmond. So they'll give him two D8s. And he needs a four or more, I think. Is or is it less? I keep on forgetting. I'll be right back. All right, equal to or exceed. So four or more. Rolling two D8s inspired by Redmond. So we get the old D8s ready to go out here. Four or more. Oh, no way. You Stupid SOB. All right, hold on. Oh, uh, we got always another boy. All right, Redmond. No, wait. Uh, James, you're up. You're my man, James. Oh, by the way, Khalil, exhausted. All right, two D8s. Uh, we're looking at a five or more now. Two D8s, five or more. Yeah, he's my boy. He's my boy. Here you go. All right, we will exhaust him. James comes through in a pinch. Uh, you got extra guard duty tonight. All right, let's see what goes on here. Oh, three more. We'll be right back. Arnold Gacky going to be repositioned. That'll exhaust him. He's going to go up here and give this old boy some help coming on up. So we exhaust him. Oh, fort, 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 fort. Yeah, let's go ahead and use... Well, uh, we got things getting kind of tight here. Getting kind of tight here. Like I said, we got our booby traps there, so that'll help us out a little bit. Uh, what else do we need to do? All right, we will do that then. Fort, you will be flipped to your exhausted side. Uh, well, let's find out if that exhausts them or not. There's the action, and we will place a counter on the intelligence damage jeep. Now instead of rolling a five or a six, we gotta roll a six because it's been damaged. Oh, what does that do? Uh, radio artillery, radio intelligence players, radio take a token on the jeep. There's a minor action that does not exhaust, so there you go. Uh, what do we do now? One more token left. Oh. That's a five spot. He rolls a D8. Preston, Preston, Preston. Preston. There's grenade in front of him, so he's fine. Let me check this out. Be right back. What I just noticed? Area 2 can't be assaulted directly. Huh. She could pretty well leave that space empty. Note to all you game players. I should have put this on the first video. Number 2 can't be... Uh, uh, it's a frontline space that cannot be assaulted directly. Now, if you look here, oh, I'm hearing pieces fall. <laughs> I'm hitting the one over here. Um, the back, the second line spots here cannot, this can't be assaulted directly. This can't be assaulted directly. This or this can't be assaulted directly. Wow, okay, well, that's one thing we knew. All right, well, what I'm going to do here now is, uh, well, I can't do that. Yikes. Milotovic will move, and this is something I can do. I'm gonna move him over here. 
That gun don't mean nothing. I can't fire anyone. Anyway. Move them over here. And this is just making room. I gotta get somebody over here and get these guys unexhausted. But my card pile might be down. Well, it looks like I got about two or three rounds left. So yeah, we'll keep that going. All right, that is it for my action faces. One, two, three, four. And where was the fifth one? Oh, five. <laughs> oh. Old folks home, here I come. <laughs> Alright, we'll be right back. Alright, carrying on with it. And uh, I just got done watching a video not too long ago with old Cody Carlson. A discriminating Gamer channel. And uh, he was doing a review on uh, 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 something leader. Squadron leader or something. Nemitz, I think I want to say. I forgot what, what the, how those series are named. But uh, he said it was too complicated for him. Wow. And he says he's getting, you know, he's been getting into complicated games, but a DVG game that's too comp complicated. And I was watching it, and it didn't look that bad. But and I, like I said, it, a lot of these games are people's preference. That one guy trashed uh, Built for War that I played, and I thought it, was, it wasn't all that great, but it was a good game. But he really, he didn't like it at all. He, I don't think they, they could even finish the game. <laughs> they put it away before I could finish it. That was pretty bad, but yeah, I, I can play a couple games built for war in a heartbeat. All right, going on with this here. It is assault. Roll in place. One d six. We got two eights still in the hopper. The four, and it is a rifleman. Oh wait, going for area four. Oh, we are there. Oh, it's gonna trigger. Somebody's gonna have a bad day. There's the old rifleman here that gets blown up by the booby trap. Move him up, move him up, move him up, move him up, put him in the space. There you go, booby trap down. And a poor rifleman just lost his life for the Reich. <laughs> Ouch, how many people have done that? Oh my God. Great time to be living in a peace, living in peace times, that's for sure. All right, next one. Roll and place. Don't need a four. Three. One next to it. All right. He's oh, an old buck. A buick. He's by himself. One, two, three, four. And we were rolling place a... Uh, what are they calling this? I'll have to look and see here real quick. Is that a subtle troop? Pause. All right. Grenadier, Grenadier. I was right. All right. Let's go here. Last one. Assault. Oh, look the kind of going on. On an area three. All right, then. We're going to have a little battle there. It is on. And this might be one of our only times we've done this. We will grab us a leader. And it'll be interesting to see how this is resolved. But here's our leader down to the last one. Area 3. He will move into Area 3. A grenadier. And they have made it to the Americans. On the third wave. Well, I think I think we did have one else come on, but I don't think we've ever had something like this happen. We'll see, because I don't remember using his number, but he was in there. Uh, find out the procedure. We'll be right back. All right, hopefully we are interpreting this correctly. If one or more assault counters move into defender's combat position, immediately resolve the attack. Add the value of all the assault counters. Do not include any assault counters already in the position. So... The attack value is three. Then roll a number of six-sided dice equal to the combat value. So we got three six-sided. Wow, oh, yeah, we got three of them here. All right, that is not good. <laughs> uh, roll a number of six-sided dice equal to combat against each defender in a combat position. If at least one of the dice rolls equal to higher, well, he's got a six, so that is good for us. We have a pretty strong leader in there. Place a disrupted token. All right. If there's already a disrupted token on a defender, it becomes a casualty. Or move a defender from the board and increase the amount. Yep. So assault counters of the defender. There's no limit to the number of assault counters in a defender. In a defender combat. All right. So there are many of these guys as possible can get in there. Right now there's one in there. He's rolling three. Anything. But uh, six. Ah. Let's, all right. Well, there's that. So far so good. Anything but a six. All right, he survived that one. All right, there's no limit. There we go. And that is it. Woo! Oh, bouch. Now, how do we attack him if he's in a position? We gotta get a three or less? Huh. 
All right, let's see. We'll find out in our next defender phase. All right, get down to it. We have been we have been uh, casualty free, but now we have and these things here work out great for these stacks. Or at least they did <laughs> earlier. All right, well over here we go. Oh yeah, I was making a mess over there. And uh, we gotta find out what's up. Oh buck. How does he attack him in the area? We'll be right back. Alright, so a close combat action is what takes care of that. So we'll flip him over to his exhausted side. He just uses action and his old boy here is history. It's that easy, but he's exhausted now, so Alright. Very vulnerable. We need to get rid of some of these boys here. They're coming up too close to us. Uh Jenkins. Needs two eights. He's got to beat a three. And he rolls one D8, but old Dustman is an inspiration. So uh, two D8s, need a three or less. Two D8s, three or less. Got it. Almost didn't get it. All right, we want to take him off of here. He's a threat to our boy. Now, who was that? Uh, Jenkins. We'll take Jenkins. And that will I definitely exhaust him, I guess. Let me see here. Attack. Major action. Yep. Exhaust the defender. Next one's going to be Krieger. 1d8. Boosted by Dustman's 2d8s. Looking for a 3 or more. Dustman, 1d8, he's got to do it, 1d8, needs a 4 now, anything above a 4, 5, alright, my man Dustman, there you go, they're all exhausted in that spot, I don't know how good that was going to be, but we have uh, lessened the threat. All right, we have one more left. Be right back. All right, we're going to finish what we needed to do last turn. And that is move a Wubin over here to area one. Let me see here. Uh, defense actions. Do not exhaust. Move. All right, well, he'll go here. Put this on him. We're good to go. One, two, three, four. Five. Time to draw more cards. Oops, sorry about that. Let's look at my anal personality. Here you go. All right, we're all set. They're still standing. Wait, hold on. Wait. Oh, get in line. There you go. Leaning tower of freaking pieces. I've been that leaning tower piece. That's cool. And the first thing all the tourists do is the leaning towers are going like this. Everybody wants to. Go up and put their hand on it like they're holding it up. And I've got the obligatory leaning tower piece of photo myself. I'll have to post those sometimes. I got all kinds of videos from that very trip. I got it's it's just on an old time of uh, like a little little bitty card. I'm telling you this little this little thing I punched in here is like this big. And somehow I got to get it transferred. It won't transfer it in a normal way. So I'm thinking I have to go somewhere and have somebody transfer it. But yeah. Those videos on my uh channel the first ones are just a, a, a snippet of two or three hours worth all right and I'd be, i love watching trips so i need to i need to post that all right that is it we're getting ready for some more card play oh it uh, feels like we got a few more waves ahead of us i thought maybe there might be it because everybody's getting exhausted and we're wearing down quick can we last all right it feels like maybe one more wave after this and then we're on to our last wave see if we can survive and maybe Get a draw in this game? Anything but lose. <laughs> See if we can do anything but lose. Our right, MG42, our dreaded MG42. I guess we're rolling a die. So we start activate A. One, two, three, four, six. Oh, be right back. All right, defender position to be attacked. 
the three so the three area right here and he's exhausted not too good all right well that is uh activate a oh hold on a second we got different we're wrong here that's area i roll a three so that's number one which would be oh where is that that is that a hexagon oh i guess it is up here all right that makes more sense yeah the battery a with fire with a hexagon at a hexagon he wouldn't cross these lines so there you go we'll roll one six-sided die and uh ooh, the result indicates the problem of the attack the combat position further from above if there's other equal to or higher Oh, it's a lot higher. All right, he will get a disrupted marker. We're on to our next one. Mortar. Roll one die. It's a three. And he'll be shooting at this spot right here. Old McConnell is going to get it. All right. And I guess it's just a six-sided die again, and we're looking for a anything above a three. I believe that's it. Be right back. All right, everything in this game is equal to or higher. If I can just get that to my thick head, equal to or higher. It's a six, so he will be disrupted. All right, mortar attacking. Well, it's all equal to the well attacking people. It's all equal to the higher. The defender's valor place it disrupted. Last one, mortar, damage, and something, area three. Oh, he's already damaged, so he can't do any more. Damage or whatever. All right, well, we'll put a disrupted marker on him. We got two boys there. Rolling one six-sided dice. Three is a magical number. Equal two or more? Uh, higher. So old. Boy, there. Not, as long, not only is he exhausted, but now he gets that. Two or higher. Oh, uh, it does it for him, too. Ouch, that was a, a tough attack. All right, there you go. We are done. We got some disruptive markers to remove because we do not want to get any casualties. We got back. All right, all right. We got one, two, Three, one, two, three. So what you want to do is get those disrupted markers off there. Don't want those guys to suffer any casualties. That leaves us with two left. We want to do an assist over here. I think that flips somebody over. Let me see here, defense, major actions, assist. The floor an exhausted defender in the same kind of position to the unexhausted side may not be performed on defenders with a command rating. So he has got the assist marker. Oh, we'll get the boy with the better valor. So he'll go here. He will be flipped over to here. And he will have a marker on him here. All right. What else do we want to do? Last one. We'll be right back. And we're going to try to take out that MG42. It's the only boy we got with a D8. They can roll two dice is James. So James will fire. I guess it'll be a major action. And uh, he'll roll. Oh, hold on a second here. 1d8. Inspired by Redmond with another die. 2d8s. And he has seven or more. Come on. Yeah. Got it. See you later. That was a good. That was a good. Good phase. So there you go. One, two, three, four, and five. And here's a roll. Oh, you know what? I didn't even get a marker off of him. Ouch. Oh, we missed one, but we'll live with it. It's kind of a quiet area for now. But we'll see. There you go. I'll give you a look here, real quick. Try not to be too fast with the camera. Show you what we are facing. One more wave 
and one more attack in this wave three. All right, it's still early in the day. Yeah, I love when you get an early day, early start in the day. Right. He's on over here, and we'll get our last three cards. Oh, oops, do not want to do it like that. Don't want to do it like that. I mean, you can do it any way you want, but I just do it this way. All right, we're ready. We are ready. Place leader. That's our last leader. I hope the game knows that. All right, he's going for area two. So the old rifleman. Well, you know what? Not really. Move up. Move up. Move up. There's plenty of space left. Move up. All right, that is good on that one. Next one, border. Roll six cider. Eight, eight, one, six. Five. Five and six is going up to area one. Ooh, boys are exhausted. Huh. Well, I guess I just get a disruptive marker on them. All right. Uh, roll one, six cider. Five or six. Disrupts him. Two, no good. Just a six disrupts him. No good. Anything above a two. He does. And last but not least, anything above a four. Ouch. Oop. Man overboard. Well, that was not good. What's the border? Oh no, another one. All right, let's roll the one six sided die. Five. Under here, five corresponds with area three. Oh, he's exhausted. Anything above a six gives him a disruptive marker. One, so he is good. That will take care of our last wave. Woo! All right. Put these cards back. One more wave to go. Here's how we got it all set up here. There you go. Now there will be an option. There's another objective wave here. We will clean up here real quick between rounds. And let me check that out. And then that'll probably be it. We'll call it a video after that. And it'll probably be a while until uh, I conclude this game with wave number four because we got a lot of stuff going on here coming on up. Uh, if we can get it through, we will. We'll try to see what's up to get the last ones of this game, but I think I've reached the limitations of anybody that's stuck around through the whole video. So we'll be right back. Ready to uh, end the attack period. It's one to three. And we're getting hammered. All right. Decrease the morale token one step for each defender that has a disrupted token. Ouch! One, two, three. We're down to two. I didn't know that. <laughs> I did not know that. Okay, let's keep on. I didn't say nothing about taking them off yet. Uh, remove all disrupted tokens. Yep. All right, so now I can remove them. Man, that was a hurt. That last attack, because I'm good about getting those suckers off of there. But not in time, not in time. Wow. All right. There you go. Uh, remove all disrupted tokens. Flip over all the fenders from their exhausted side. Well, that definitely helps. And the thing of it is, I think we can move everybody and reset everything if it's anything like the last ones, which I think it is. So exhausted. So they should have told us to stuff, pull everybody up and redo them. But we'll do it according to their procedure. Procedure row. Oh, exhausted. Procedure row. There we go. We're good on that one. Man, was that a hit? That was a bummer. Oh. Flip all defenders. Uh, place all attacker and supply. Place all the attackers, assault counters, and radio tokens in supply. All right. So I guess this is all the boys here. Well, they'll get reset. They get reset every time about the same place. But we will get them all off of the board here. That attack did not come through. Although they did make it up into area three. And radio tokens. That was a for nothing. Ouch. Gotta remember that. Gotta remember where you're at in this game. Leave defenders. 
Place all attacker assault counters. Leave defenders, weapons counters, and attacker and retreat to on the board. One to three. Uh, ending. All right. Attack periods. Two to four. Setup. All right. Well, then we just put these guys back in a certain way. So we'll be right back. All right. Then we are ready. The setup is pretty much standard each time. They don't change in between uh, rounds. Although. I didn't see him over here. Let me go make sure it's correct thing. We, didn't, we haven't messed with him in a while. There's not been so much been going on in that left flank. Uh, where's that page at for the setup? Oh, boy. You gotta be kidding me. All the way through here. <laughs> Hold on. Yep, he starts there. All right, we are good. Move these markers. Nobody can be in those three areas. This is my setup. There you go. We got the D8s over there. Dustin can bump that up to two D8s. I put the M2 there. I mean, I, here's another thing. All the machine guns are in here. I mean, I could put them on the board, but it ain't gonna be no deal. None of them could fire, so we're all history. Uh, let me see here. So I put him there just to be safe. There's not nothing that can happen. I don't know what to do with the Jeep. Oh, Jenkins, Adams, a couple of D8ers. Uh, this area, as a matter of fact, one of these guys will move into this area. And uh, right here we got old James and Bullock. They can move down here. A couple more D8s with uh, Redmond providing Calais or Khalil, Khalil with two D8s. A commander there, he can flip anybody over, th up to three of them if they get uh, exhausted. Gecky with an assist can take care of Volkovich if he gets exhausted he could roll a d8 I, he, this might be able to inspire him he might be able to go two dice so we'll see what goes on with there go over here a couple of d8ers and an assist in case they get exhausted flip them on over and last but not least over on our flank a couple more d8ers with another a unit to flip them over if they get exhausted we're ready for the blast uh Assault. When we come back, we'll call this a video. We will check out the objectives. Then we will get going on Landsworth Ridge. Like I said, this is going to be a video. Uh, it's convention time for me, so I'm going to sit down here and go over some Empire of the Sun rules. Just kick back and relax. We'll finish up this game later. Be back.